all of the people that said uh, that my Trump was gonna lose. So I say to you this morning, the day after the election. <laughs> We did it. We're gonna have a nice little celebration here over the next few days. It is done, Finish. over with. Yes. Donald J. Trump is the 45th president of the United States. Yes, he is, darling. Girl. Yes. We did it. We did it. I was a person that voted on policy, and so in that sense, I, I am happy uh, with the result. Wowzers! My faith in democracy has been restored. He, he wanted to be president. He went against the media. And it's time for us to put on our damn positivity thinking caps and stop being children about this. Because he won. You guys are the ones who go to wars to help other people. You guys are the ones who, in the face of adversity, you keep on freaking going. But apparently today and yesterday, you guys are the ones who pull kids out of school to protest your new president? Nah, nah, democracy doesn't work like that. It's like all the people protesting are like, I like democracy, but only when it works exactly how I want it, in my favor at all times. No, 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 a little bit of fuck you on that, because that's not how that works. At least she's not Trump. She basically wants to start a war with Russia, but you know. At least she's not Trump! The DNC made their bed full of shit, and now they have to sleep in it. Too bad. So sad. Hope you learned your lesson. All in all, I think America just wanted someone who tells it like it is. I think they also wanted someone who would call Islamic terrorism for what it is. Islamic terrorism. The dirty little secret is that Trump won because of minorities. The black vote was up 7%, Hispanic up 8%, and Asian up 11%. So the candidate that was painted as, you know, gonna gas all the minorities and so racist won because of minorities. I am and was a skeptical, at times unenthusiastic, Trump supporter. And if you would have told me at the beginning of his campaign that I would be open to Trump, I would have left you out of the room. And throughout the whole way, even as I was coming to grips with supporting Trump, I never was under some illusion that he was going to be like the most amazing president ever. I hope he is. I hope for everyone's sake he is, but I never really thought that. It was simply that I knew too much about Hillary Clinton. I took the time to read WikiLeaks and I took the time to look into what a Clinton presidency would mean and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. If anything, I hope no matter which side you were on, it brings all of us as a people to a pot, to a horizontal posture, that it brings us to our knees, our face to the floor, that we pray for our country, that we pray for him, whether you think he could turn this upside down or you're praying that he will uphold the positions that he said he would. I pray that we come together for that in, in, in humility because God says when we humble ourselves. Thank God for Donald Trump. I say this as a black man. I, I, I pray for unity and I do, pr I do believe that God is sovereign and can use the most unlikely and unimaginable, peop uh, unimaginable people to change things. To solve the puzzle, each side and each color has to work together in harmony. And that is how we're gonna solve our problems, with harmony and togetherness.